What's up YouTube, Jay Dantastic here, and today I have a little bit of a different video. This is more of a tutorial video. Uh, I recently switched phones from Apple to Android, and I noticed that one of the actually, for some reason, difficult things to do on Android is to record the screen, record the gameplay, record the phone in general. Um, so I did a ton of research. It actually took me a lot of digging to find out um, the best way, and it's weird that this is the best way, this is the best way that I was able to find um, to be able to record HD gameplay with audio and also all of the other cool stuff with that you get along with having capture software and things like that. So uh, we're going to take a look at my setup, you'll get a look at uh, kind of what I see every day and uh, then we'll go from there. I'll, I'll show you guys how everything is set up, how everything works. Um, so let's dig right in. Alright, so we're going to take a walk around here. You can actually see my setup. This is what I see all the time. You can see that I have the Chromecast set up with the HD capture um, software boom in the background there. Now normally that would not show up with the Chromecast. That's what we're going to talk about here in just a second. But uh, if you guys were ever curious about what my setup looks like, this is what I see when I record. I have three different monitors. I know how terrible is that, but that's what you get when you're working on a budget setup. Um, you can see all of my, my cool stuff my consoles and all that kind of thing. So this is what I see every day. Don't judge me for my setup. I know the wires are everywhere, but this is what I have to work with. I do have some sweet Legos. Um, <laughs> this is what I have to work with though. And I had to pull all my cables out so that I could um, get this set up and test it and everything. So don't judge me too hard for my cable management skills. Um, that's not what the video is about, but here we go. So this is the best way that I could find to record an Android device. If you want to record your gameplay, uh, or anything else, just your screen if you want to make tech videos, review apps, anything like that, and you have an Android. If you have an iPhone, it's actually super duper easy. There's a nice little program called Air Server that you can download and pay for. It's like 15 bucks, and then it's yours to keep, and it works super duper well. It's supposed to work with Androids, but I could not, for the life of me, get it to work for Android. You have to like change your drivers back to Windows 8. You have to have a wireless um, Wi-Fi device. Plug. Like it, it's, I don't know, it's crazy. It didn't work. So this is what I came up with. This is what I found. So um, I already had the capture card. I have the HD60S. I used to have the HD60. Upgraded to the HD60S. Huge shout out and thank you to Elgato for this lovely beast. Um, love Elgato. It doesn't have to be an Elgato. If you have like an Avermedia or some other kind of capture card, uh, whichever you prefer, you can use that. Now, this is obviously the most expensive piece of the setup. But I feel like if you're already a YouTuber, if you're already recording gameplay, you probably already have some kind of capture card um, somewhere. So, and this, I, you know what, now that I think about it, this would actually, if you have an HD Pro in your PC, you could probably do the same thing. Um, this would just be in here, and then, you know, you'd run it through your monitor or whatever, but um, this is just the one that I have. So I have the Elgato HD60S, everything is set up there. This is how I record my Wii U, my PS4, and all that good stuff. So, boom. Down here, this is the, the new setup, um, and I don't have every, everything put back in place yet, so I know you guys, you're probably all laughing at me. Let me get this up. This is, uh, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> so this is a Chromecast. This is an awesome device. I've had this for a couple of years now, and uh, I really, really love it, actually. Um, it doesn't, again, doesn't have to be a Chromecast. If you have like a Roku stick or something else that you can stream through to a different screen, I'm pretty sure that you could use that device. I just happen to have the Chromecast. It's a pretty cheap device, and it does a lot of other cool stuff that I use it for, not just for recording my phone. So that's awesome. So again, um, this piece, interchangeable. This piece, interchangeable. This piece, not so much. You have to have something like this. Uh, the reason that it's some kind of difficult to record the Android device and uh, I is, is the, it's the HDCP. So, and uh, without getting too technical, basically what that is is a uh, program designed to prevent people from pirating certain things. It's why you have to disable it when you're recording on your PS4. If you want to record anything there, it's why the PS3 had so much trouble because you couldn't turn it off on the PS3 when you wanted to record that. Um, and so what this is, it's, it's just an HDMI splitter. Like it's not a special device. This is 20 bucks. Um, there will be a link in the description below to the Amazon link for this. If you want to get this one, um, this one is guaranteed to do the job that it's supposed to do because, uh, I, I did a ton of research. This was the hardest thing to find. I actually went to Fry's Electronics and picked up a different one that ended up not working. So I read a, a bunch of reviews, a bunch of stuff, and it's very hit or miss whether the, devi the device that you get is going to work. Um, so if you want to run out to Best Buy or Fry's or whatever and find an HDMI splitter just to see if it works, go ahead and give it a shot. If you get lucky and you can find one for even cheaper, that's awesome. I just know that this one works. This one in particular works because obviously I'm using it for myself. So, um, 
The link will be in the description for this below. So what this does is this strips the HDCP so that that signal no longer blocks you from recording. So what would happen is if you just plug your Chromecast directly into your Elgato, uh, when you open up the HD capture software, there will be a little, one of those little red circles with a line through it and it'll say HDCP and it blocks all of the signal coming through. And the problem with that, HDCP, it's a good and a bad thing. It's a good thing because it prevents piracy and a lot of illegal things. It's a bad thing because it prevents a lot of legal things. Hence this. I'm trying to record mobile gameplay. Um, people who have, you know, tech reviews and things like that, they're just trying to record their phone screen. The HDCP makes that very difficult. So, uh, that's what this, this splitter is for. So how you set this up is take your lovely little Chromecast here, plug it into the input slot on the HDMI splitter there. Obviously this is uh, power, which just plugs into, this is a, an outlet plug-in. Uh, and then the Chromecast you can power by USB. So you can just plug that into a USB port. Um, and then you just run one of the outs. Obviously you, you're not actually splitting the signal unless you wanted to, I mean you could, um, but you just run one of the outs up and into the input on your Elgato. Um, this is the uh, USB cable just to hook it up to your PC if you didn't know. And um, you don't actually need this other HDMI cable. I just have mine hooked up to my third monitor over there so I can see it on a larger screen if I wanted to. You don't have to. Um, you can just open up the HD capture software and you'll be able to see your screen directly there. Uh, the benefits of the HD60S and these capture cards that are starting to have the instant game view is uh, that since you are streaming your phone through Chromecast, there's already inherently going to be a little bit of a delay, obviously, because you're not hardwired in. You're not sending the information through a cable, you're sending it over Wi-Fi. And that's gonna delay it a little bit. It's, it's a very, very small delay. However, if you have one of the older capture cards, like an HD60 or the HD, or something else that's not more up to date, like the HD60S or the HD Pro, um, or like the new uh, Razer capture card that has the inst instant game view, if you don't have that and there has already been game lag, you're adding more lag to that. And again, it's not a huge issue. You're still going to have an HD recording. You're still going to be able to record. Uh, the problem is, is that there will still just be a delay. So if you're ever thinking of like streaming it, um, you know, lining it up, syncing it up afterwards, all of that's going to be a little bit more difficult. So that's why it's nice to have one of the newer devices, um, whether it's Elgato or Razer or whatever, it doesn't really matter, but that'll help with the delay. Again, not super important but uh, it does make a little bit of a difference. So um, just to show you one more time, Chromecast into the splitter. Splitter is the most important part of this entire setup is the splitter. You would think that it wouldn't be, uh, but it is. So let's walk back in front of my computer and uh, I will come back here in just a second to show you that this does all actually work. Give me one second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You can see I have the HD capture software open with the infinite loop of my hands. So like I was saying earlier, if you uh, don't have the HDMI splitter, what you will see up here uh, will be a little red X. This screen will be black and there will be a little red X up here and it'll say HDCP, meaning you can't record it. Now that we have it running through the splitter and into the Elgato though, everything shows up just like it should on there. And then of course, since we do have it running through a splitter, whoa, it's trippy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we can have it on the monitor over there as well. So there you can see that everything is up and running. And then of course you could just use your recording software like you would. I, I use the Elgato software because uh, it's not too bad. I use OBS a lot of the other time. A lot of you guys ask me what I use to record with, which I know this is a terrible phone camera. It's not a terrible phone camera, but it is a phone camera. Um, I use the Elgato Capture if I'm recording on my PS4 or from now on if I'm going to be doing mobile stuff. Um, I have OBS for, ah, which way am I going? I have OBS for PC recording, aud or Audition for audio stuff, Photoshop for all my thumbnails, things like that, and then Premiere for editing. Premiere is GOAT. Ugh. I used to use Sony Vegas and it would give me a heart attack every other day. Premiere is where it's at. So a lot of you ask me what programs I use to record. Those are the five main things that I use to record on a day-to-day -day basis. So. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you can record on your phone, your Android device. So like I said, that, yeah, there you have it. That is how you can record on your uh, Android device. Again, I have the Galaxy S7 Edge, which is phenomenal phone. I'm so happy that I switched. I was so disappointed to find out that it's difficult to record on the Android. I mean, 
Uh, I tried like the, the AZ recorder, I tried, um, there's a built-in functionality on this phone that's actually really cool. It's built specifically for recording gameplay. You can record 720p gameplay, it captures the game audio, um, you can control it from in-game. It's, it's pretty great, the quality just wasn't there for me, there was a little bit of a delay. Um, there was a little bit of a lag when I would try to record it. It just didn't sound well. If it's your only means of recording, if it's the only way that you have to be able to record, by all means, use it. I mean, there you go. The AZ recorder, again, it works, uh, but it doesn't record game audio. It just records your screen. If you want to record game audio, you got to run a cable out of your phone into something else to capture the audio. So then you would have to sync up your game audio, your gameplay, your face cam if you have that, your voice audio. There's a bunch of stuff you have to sync up. So there are other ways. Um, they were just so much of a hassle in my opinion. And I already had the Chromecast and I already had the Elgato. So 20 bucks to complete this setup. And now I can have, um, you know, HD recording with audio, um, gameplay, face cam, all that just captured in one simple place. And it's going to be a lot easier moving forward for that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you can record on your Android device. Um, again, links to all of the devices I showed uh, will be in the description below if you want to check out any of those. That way you can see all that stuff. So uh, if you have a question about anything else you saw in my setup, just drop a comment down below. Um, I like to do these tutorials every once in a while because if, I, if it takes me a while to figure out how to do something, then I like to make a short video on it because I know that there's probably other people out there looking for something like this. So um, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's how you do it. If you have any questions about the setup or anything like that, let me know with a comment in the comment section down below. If you get stuck on anything, let me know, and I'll, I'll do my best to help you out. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. If this was helpful or you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, if this is your first time stopping by for whatever reason. Make sure you subscribe. We usually do gameplay around here, but like I said, the occasional tutorial is there. And uh, as always, I will talk to you in the next video. Later.